Hello, this is Mindy from The Weekend Gardener, and today I'd like to offer you a winter gardening tip. Now, many areas of the country have received bad weather, which includes snow and ice. The first approach that many homeowners do is they apply salt to the areas that they want to melt the snow and ice from. While that is a good approach and works perfectly fine around stops and areas that have no plant material around them, it is a bad idea when you're applying salt to areas where you have vegetation, such as in a flower bed or a grassy area. What happens with the salt is the salt melts the snow and ice and then the water, including the salt, runs into the areas where you have vegetation. If you do this often enough, it actually creates a salt barrier that prevents any type of plant material to grow in that area. It's very difficult to get rid of that salt later on. What happens when a plant takes up salt is it causes the cells to shrink and in doing so causes the plant to die. To prevent this and melt your snow and ice at the same time, the best approach is to use a fertilizer. Now, a granulated fertilizer, not a liquid fertilizer. The numbers associated with the fertilizer do not make any difference as far as melting the snow and ice. It can be a 10-10-10, it can be a 15-30-15, it doesn't really matter. When you're using fertilizer for this technique, you will just simply need to broadcast it. It will cause the snow and ice to melt, and then the water will carry the fertilizer into the areas where vegetation is located. There, that fertilizer will set until spring and until you start getting growth from your plant material. So it serves two purposes. It improves springtime growth and melts your snow and ice. So this year, don't use salt. Salt causes plant damage. Use the fertilizer. So until we meet on the garden path again, this has been Mindy from The Weekend Gardener.